Hello! Hey everybody! Sorry it took me a little bit longer to get everything set up today, but here we are. Um, oh, Alright. Cool. I've been like running around like crazy since I got off work making dinner and trying to get myself situated and I was just really excited to play this game more because it's been a, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Played some Hades last stream and then I had a couple days off. But yeah, very excited to dive into it. Also excited that next week on Tuesday is my birthday and so we're going to do some kind of special stream. Probably earlier in the day because I've got evening plans. But, um, uh, I really want to try, like, a baking stream or, like, something. Hey, Allie. I'm doing alright. It's been, it's been a bit of a day, I guess. I don't know. I've just been feeling kind of off, so I'm, like, excited to just play some games. But, perfect timing. Just sat down. Nice, nice. 420. <laughs> yeah. A. It's my birthday. Fun fact, I've actually been denied entrance to venues and bars because of my ID. Um, uh, trying to get this angled a little bit better. There we go. That's better. Um, but yeah, like a couple of venues, they like looked at my ID and they looked at me and they were like, really? 420, come on, do better. And like handed it back to me and wouldn't let me in. I was like, what the fuck, man? That's my valid driver's license. Um, I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, I was so blown away. Uh, but yeah, that happened a couple times when I was in college. Games are always fun. Glad I can relax with some Outer Wilds. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, I think this is my good controller. So I've been having some problems with my controllers lately. I just I need to just bite the bullet and buy a new one cuz one of them is drifting and the other one like the trigger isn't working. So I th but it's only in one game. So it's like why I I don't know. It's like and it doesn't it's not a problem on the PlayStation, only on PC. So that makes me think it's just this one game. Oh my god, hold on. I have to show you guys something. Hold on. My room's a little bit well, I guess it's actually pretty clean today. I have to tab off the game because this is important to go full camera. Harvey has a hair tie. Don't eat it, bud. He just likes to kill it. I'm gonna give him his moment. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> He'll do this for like 20 minutes. It's so cute. My favorite is when he like picks it up and then stomps his back feet on the floor to try to murder it. It's very cute. Okay. Okay. Get the game back up. Let's resume our expedition. He'll just be entertained by that hair tie for like, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes. There's like a few of them over there too, like toss them a new one every now and again and you just find a pile of them everywhere. Oh. So another reason I'm eager to play this game is because I'm, like, getting more and more concerned about getting spoiled on it. I was having a conversation with some coworkers, and Outer Wilds came up, and I, like, immediately cut in and was like, hey, I'm in the middle of playing it. Please don't spoil anything. Um, and, oh, controller. There we go. Okay. Uh, immediately, um, one of my coworkers chimes in and was like, Hey, isn't it really cool that uh, that thing fires in like a different direction each time? And I had already noticed that. I was it was something that I had that I had seen, but I didn't know that it was significant. 
So now I know that it's significant. And I, I, I hope that it doesn't warp my gameplay at all. I don't think it will. But, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I've, I have learned that I am not going to bring this game up to anybody until I'm done playing it. Oh, I figured, I figured out what it is. I forgot that it's the, uh, the Xbox controller controls. Harvey. He's just carrying that hair tie all over the place. It won't until you discover why. All right, gotcha. Thank you. Um. God, where did? I'm trying to think of the places that I had the most questions about. Definitely the quantum moon. We don't know yet. Um. Hey, knob. <laughs> cool people are here. Yeah. You're all cool. You're hanging out with me. Uh, I want to know more about these anglerfish. By the way, I mean that, like, you guys are cool. I'm not cool. I just exist. Um, haven't gotten into the high energy lab yet. Um, still want to figure out what's going on with the, uh, anglerfish area. So I, I kind of want to go back there first because I really want to figure that out and I'm more likely to get frustrated by that area. So if we like, if we start there and then I can take a break and then go back to it later, I don't know. Hold up. Okay, yeah, so this controller works perfectly fine. It's only when I'm playing Hades that I have problems with controllers. I don't know why. So we want to go to Dark Bramble. There it is. Um. I'm also still- oh, oh, whoops. The moon? We landed on the moon. Whoopsie daisies. We never did explore this area, actually. Harvey, you were so content playing with your hair ties, buddy. At some point, I want to check this out. I did select this, right? I'll let Harvey out in a minute. There it is. Oh, I can hear him already. Hey, Pyro. Abort, abort autopilot. Match trajectory. And then before we dive in, I'm just gonna let Harvey out. <laughs> Ray, you say the same? Excuse me, I only attract cool people. <laughs> okay. Alright, now we can begin. The door's open now, so he can just come and go as he wants. Um... I want is a strong word regarding Dark Bramble. Yeah. So I feel like I was like starting to get somewhere. Actually, the second time that I came here, I made the most progress. Um. Headlights off. Okay. Um. Yeah, the second time I came here, I feel like I made the most progress, uh, because I, like, I got to the center and just kept going. Um, and I'm not entirely sure where I went wrong. Um, this is still just, like, so spooky. I know I need to be slow, I need to keep my headlights off. I think maybe I went too fast last time when I, like, was making progress. 
I just kind of like dove in and just went infinitely deep. Uh, but that seems like it was the wrong approach for some reason. I don't know why though. Figure it out. Figure it out. Nope, 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 nope. Wrong one. Wrong one. Braver to head back to the anglerfish planet. I just, like, I'm fascinated by it, right? Like, I'm just so curious about what this means. Like, I hate it. I hate it a lot. But I'm curious about it. I very much dislike it, though. Like, I don't know why I got this guy's attention, to be honest. Ugh! God damn it. Because I had my headlights off, so... Maybe it was just bad luck. You put this one off until you couldn't anymore? Yeah, chomp. They use other senses? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. They could be hearing me. It could be my, uh... Engine. But I guess it's, it's kind of tough, because I don't... I don't yet know which one I'm supposed to go to. Which light. So I kind of have to use my engines just to kind of get in the right area? I don't know. I just need to experiment. Just need to try different things until something works. I know there's something there for me. Let's see. Okay. Where's the sun at? It's behind us. There it is. I really want to get to that, uh, platform on the sun. I'm going to keep saying that. It's fine. That first flight was just a test mission. Oh, slow down. Oh, please slow down. Oh, no. Don't hit it. Alright. There we go. Lights off. Yes. So I don't know if it's the same one every time. I think we tried going to the red one. Let's. I think I want to go to the red one again. And let's just try to just coast right in. Well, gonna have to dodge a little bit. I do really want to finagle it. Coast in. Oh, the sound design here is so good! just like so perfectly spooky
Alright. Maybe I should be counting the number of dots, I wonder. So... Super creepy music for sure. Alright. No sound. Nothing. Nope. Ah, God. God. So scary. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is such a good fright. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, super creepy music. Uh, you'll put the Outer Wilds playlist on when you're playing stuff like Elite and you get really freaked out when it comes on. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's like sucking me in a little bit. Let's see, are they, st is it still, is it still gonna be here? Is this a bad idea? Oh, there was like that creaking noise. Oh, I'm so... Yeah, it's just, I don't know if it's the fog, like, when you actually look at the design or whatever, it's, like, not that scary. I th maybe it's just that they move kind of suddenly. I swear. Like, I went and added a couple of uh, my frights from the last playthrough as clips, and um, I feel like all of my clips are gonna be of this part of the game. Hey, Kim! Oh my god, thank you for the raid! Welcome in, raiders. We are playing a very spooky game. At least this part of the game is quite spooky. I've already had quite a fright just now. How was your stream? What were you playing? Um, is there a mo- Allie, could you uh, give a shout out for Kim for me? I am a little occupied. Hey, Orc. Thank you, Allie. Appreciate it. Whew, how's everybody doing? Sorry, I'm like still like coming down from this fright that I had a moment ago. <laughs> I was so... I like jumped out of my chair. <laughs> hey, Rambo. Welcome in. I really appreciate the raid. Thank you again, Kim. Uh... Is that like the back side of one of the things? That's... That makes it creepier for some reason. I can't even tell you why. That makes me wonder if the orientation that I go into the these little ball things, if that matters. I swear to god, if one of these things sneaks up on me, I'm gonna fucking freak out. Uh, just slow and steady. We're getting closer. <laughs> Don't scare with the nipple raids. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I hate the noise. Are we even getting closer to this thing anymore? I'm like really afraid to like increase my speed and that's why, oh fuck, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. <laughs> uh... <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, the noise is so sudden. It's such a sudden noise. Physics is funny in here. Yeah. <sighs> Bad time uh, to, to say where they still moving. Grabbing some food sounds good, Kim. Oh, God. 
this game is too much for my heart. This is why I can't play, like, truly horror games. Like, I'm usually okay with the game mechanics. Like, if I have to go and, like, solve a puzzle really quickly or something, um, like, Outlast was a good example of that, where you had to, like, move objects to certain locations while something was chasing you. Like, I can physically... I can physically do the mechanics, but I can't, for the life of me, uh, uh, can't for the life of me not just get so scared. Resident Evil stream? Uh, never. Sorry. Maybe I should go this way, actually. Or autopilot. Oh no, oh no, not the sun, not the sun. Oh god, please don't portal me into the sun. Ugh around. Okay. Whew. Whew. That was close, actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I've played Amnesia. I've played most of Amnesia. I didn't finish it. I'm gonna go to the side of it because I'm coming in too fast again. I need to stop using the autopilot. The autopilot leads me astray. Yeah, you'd think it would be easy, and then it's just, like, in the way. And then it sucks you in. Alright. Alright, Dark Bramble. Harvey, don't you dare sneak up on me. I heard the door open. I was like, no, can't do this stupid cat. All right. I'm surprised that I was able to get so far, like the first couple of times that I was here, and not spook the thing by also having my headlights on. Like, and I definitely wasn't conserving my, like, fuel and trying to be quiet like I was just like going in kind of guns blazing a little bit like I was cautious but I wasn't getting eaten every time I don't know I'm pretty sure one time I actually just timed out so I don't know Like, I'm definitely going, like, slow right now. And I know that I need to take this area slow. But I also have only 20 minutes to work with. So... I don't know, man. Oh, an orc! I don't think I said hello. How are you doing? I know we were chatting earlier, but... Hello and hello again. Like, this looks like I am not moving. Like, I'm coming up on it. I did have to use this a little bit. Uh, my next theory, which may or may not hold anything. So this, I think that there's one right there. What happens if I go around to this top one? Will I be coming around, like, a different angle? this one. Oh yeah, am I on the right path? I see the red in front of the bunch of lights, but I'm still seeing the bunch of lights. Let's let's just let's just try this one. Let's just try it. See, what's also weird is that now all those lights are gone. Oh, and I'm outside the fucking planet! Holy shit! What? 
What? What? I'm gonna kill myself? The fuck? What? What the fuck? What the fuck is this game? <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> ah, <laughs> six is funny in there. You're not, you're not kidding. The breathing that's concerning to you. I have to fix my shit. <laughs> Hold, please. Alright, ship. Stay there. Too much, too much. I can't believe I didn't figure out that going back out, like, makes you leave the whole area. I feel like I even remember that happening once and I just kind of dismissed it. I just, like, assumed I was in the wrong spot or in a different spot than I thought I was. So, like... Man, I just, I don't know what my goal is yet here. And I think that's what's kind of confusing me the most, is that I don't know, like, am I trying to get to the center? I assume so. We'll figure it out. I'll get there. Um, every time you lift your burrito up, your dog lifts her head. Oh, <laughs> that's really cute. I'm really lucky that my cats are not very food aggressive or just like into people food in general. Alright. Um, there's been like one time that Harvey has tried to take food off my plate. Um, but that was pretty rare. Um, Ellie, I've, like, offered her bacon, and she just doesn't care. She is just not interested. So... Man, I have... Did I turn headlights off? Okay. give your cat a piece of steak and she wouldn't care. But Arya? Arya will eat roadkill? Yeah. Sounds like a dog. Dogs be like that. tried to offer your cat some steak because she seemed- Oh, I hate it! <laughs> God damn it. Um, because she seemed really interested in it, but then she just wanted to sniff everything on her plate. That's kind of what Ellie and Harvey usually do. That... Ah, I hate it! Leave me alone! Oh my god. Why am I so bad at this game? Why am I so bad at this game? Harvey's just looking at me like... Really? What's the big deal? Harvey, you should be used to this. Harvey, your dad streams, like, all the time. <laughs> huh? 
Not bad, it's a tough spot. Thank you, Allie. I appreciate it. I, Cause I feel like I'm just like not getting something. Um, but that's why I wanted to start with this area so I could go and get frustrated and then try to figure it out later. The famous Cat Harvey. Hey, Acro. How are you doing? Okay. All right. Doing good? Glad to hear it. Yeah, I can see why everybody likes this game, and especially why everyone likes uh, watching people play this game for the first time. That makes a ton of sense to me now that I've played it uh, a little bit. There are a couple tricks to navigating that I haven't found yet. Oh, I'm sure. Absolutely sure. Turn those off first. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Where are we? Oh, I did it again. Oh, I did it again. Oh, crap. Oh, crash landing. Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, did we die? I think we died. Did we die? Oh, maybe not. We're gonna die. Definitely gonna. Oh, no, we did die. Alright, we died. That's fine. I can try to go in anyways. <laughs> Rip the ship. Who needs it? It's fine. I was like, this time I'm gonna make sure not to go in too fast. Here we go! <laughs> I am also wondering, like... And up goes the adrenaline. I'm kinda curious, if I go back out, would I just go out? Or would, like... Uh... Would it take me, like, somewhere else for some reason? Because, like, when I backed out, I went out all the way. If I turn all the way around and then go out, what happens? Does that change anything? Is this, like, anti-chamber level weird? The breathing is much worse. <laughs> I don't know if I just didn't notice that before, but I'm noticing it now. Oh, I did find out recently that I have asthma. That is a new new thing I've learned. Um, pretty mild asthma, as far as asthma is concerned. Um, wow, I can just see it right there. Can I go under it and not get noticed? This is the question. to go in the wrong way now. Maybe this one's friendly. Oh, I'm like not going the right way now. Hold me in. No, we 
leisurely float through the fish. Yup, that is right. I don't know if this is working better than when we had the ship or not. Going through this one near naked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I'm almost out of oxygen. This is not good. That's weird that the lights are moving. It's true. I'm gonna run out of oxygen though, like before anything else. Like. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Thank you, game, for the reminder that I'm gonna suffocate before anything else happens. Or not, I mean, maybe not. Oh, Lou, thank you so for three months in advance. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Take it slowly and be quiet, you got it. I just don't want to run into it. I'm going to try to go over a little bit. And stop. Go up a little bit. Just a smidgen. Stop. <sighs> okay. I'm definitely gonna hit it. Fuck. Slowly. Oh my god, it's upside down. I didn't notice that. Well, upside down in relation to me. Alright, really slow. Alright, not gonna touch it. Not touching it. Not touching it. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Um, I really appreciate the sub, Lou. Thank you very much. I, I really appreciate that. Touch it. Don't touch anything. You're so scared. I'm scared. <laughs> it's a good thing that the game doesn't pick up my audio. 60 seconds remaining. Fuck this. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> from playing this game, Allie? Or from watching me play? That's the question. Oh, I really want to redirect us a little bit, so we're going closer to the red dot. Uh, oh god, the oxygen, though. Is my guy breathing faster? I swear my guy is breathing faster now. Oh, you know what? I just realized that we should always kind of just, like, gravitate towards the center, but I'm gonna suffocate. There it is. Yeah. Wow, I really just, like, just sudden. That was, that was sudden. I thought there would be, like, a 10 or 15 second, like, um... Waiting that we'd have to, like, listen to the suffocation. That was a, a much louder wake up there. I feel like we were getting somewhere there, so let's try that again. Let's get the suit on. We're gonna figure this out. I'm like kind of determined to get this part of the game over with on this stream. Uh, I don't know if that's actually what will happen, but that is my motivation. Yeah, the gasp for air was brutal. Absolutely. 
thinking the heavy breathing is the oxygen running out, and then when you actually die, it's the oxygen deprivation. Yeah, that, that sounds like that's probably what it is. Alright, and now we're gonna slow down early. <laughs> One of your least favorite deaths. Yeah, 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 no kidding. I did too much. Too much slowdown. that green light is in the front there um so like like that's engines right i don't know what the green one is in the middle because it was on the other time maybe it's like damaged the ship or something i do think that this game renders very well i will say um, like, when I'm approaching something far away, it, it, the game does a very good job of, uh, loading stuff in without it being super obtrusive. That was something I didn't like about, uh, Subnautica, was that the render distance was, like, too short. Uh, and even when I had the settings on kind of, like, all high, the stuff was just like loading in all over the place all the time. So it was kind of hard to scan for an area you wanted to be at. You know what I mean? That being said, I'm very much looking forward to the next Subnautica. Um, I'm definitely going to stream that um, uh, when it comes out on May 15th. Um, uh, is, whew, I assume, I assume you meant, is this still the same thing I'm going after? I mean, I, I don't really know what I'm going after here, to be honest. I'm hoping that I'll just, like, kind of figure it out once we get there. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we died a couple of times. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm trying to, like, get to the center of this Tootsie Pop um, planet, but I don't know if that's actually my goal. We're, all right, we're going to just keep leisurely, quietly going right past this thing, and hopefully it just doesn't notice us. May 15th, the day after Mass Effect drops. I have not played any of the Mass Effect series. Um, I, uh, I'm pretty sure I even own it, and I just, like, haven't gotten to it. Hey, Mark. Welcome in. Yeah, I, uh, I'm struggling a bit at this part of the game. Yeah, not moving. We are not moving. Oh, I hate being so close to its face. How can you request a, request a playthrough? I don't know, I don't have like a suggestion box in my Discord, but I, I do absolutely take requests. Oh, book club subscribed with Prime. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. How was um, uh, 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 Spirit Fair today? I am really curious about that game, and I like haven't decided if I'm gonna pick it up yet. But it's I, it has my interest. I've seen a couple people play in it. Very cute. I love the cat. The cat just like rolling around and doing cat things. 
Oh, I hate this thing so much. <laughs> I'm just trying to distract myself from the chaos that's going on. Where is it? Right here. <laughs> uh, I got this. I got this. We're waiting. When Outer Wilds becomes just chatting. I want to drag Harvey over, but I'm worried I'll, like, bump the controller. Oh, you know what I can show you while we're just waiting? Is I, I painted my nails, but I, like, I did them special. I did this, like, uh, two-toned fancy nails. I, um, don't paint my nails very often, so I was excited about it. Steam does library sharing. If you or uh, friends are interested in doing that, someone has a game, you can try it before you buy. Yeah, I actually, I do that with my partner. Um, I definitely own Mass Effect. Like, I definitely have it. So I should just play it sometime. I, I'm pretty sure I got it in, like, a Humble Bundle or something. Spiritfarer is one of your top games. And yeah, like, Spiritfarer, I, I guess I should try before I buy with that one. But I also feel like with indie games like that, I don't mind just kind of taking the plunge and spending the like 15 or 20 bucks on it um, because I, I want to support the devs, you know? I uh, wouldn't judge a series uh, by playing Mass Effect 1. I don't know anything about Mass Effect 1, I've only seen it in the context of Mass Effect 2. The story is good. Spiritfarer is one of your top games. Yeah, I think you've mentioned that. I definitely need to need to check it out. It just looks so cute. It just looks like such a nice chill time, and I could use a game like that, especially after playing this one. Am I still moving? I don't know if I'm getting closer to this. <laughs> need a stopwatch to see how long I have left? Yeah. No kidding. But I like I can hear the thing in my ear. And if I go forward, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna get me. I'm moving forward just very slowly. You'll probably buy, uh, buy Outer Wilds on Switch when it comes out just to throw more money at the game. I totally understand that. I've done that for a couple of games, mostly super giant games. Like I've bought Bastion on like three different platforms and also sent it to like at least three friends. Just because, like, when it's on sale, it's, like, two bucks. So it's, like, why not? It's, like, especially around the holidays, it's, like, here's a quick Steam game. Alright, I'm just gonna go a little faster. Fuck. God fucking shit. <laughs> ah, no. Not fair. You can't get me. You can't get me. You can't. You can't get me. <laughs> <laughs> There's more on the other side. Where am I? I'm so upset. <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay, we know that once they've spotted me, I have to go back. But if I go back, it's just gonna kick me out of the planet. Ugh! <laughs> No, 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 Mark, you got it backwards. The anglerfish made me its bitch. <sighs> okay. Okay. Alright. Wanna play Subnautica? You want waiting for Subnautica to come out free on PlayStation for their play at home thing. Oh, that's cool. Put your mouse on a certain area on the outer lining. Okay. Yeah, this was a lot. <laughs> this game is a lot. Okay. I'm very excited for the next Subnautica. I know I said that before, but... I 
I still remember going to one of these other dots and it wasn't an angler fish and it was just like another place that I could go. But the red seems like way too significant. Oh, I guess I actually need to repair my ship because it's going to make noise, isn't it? As long as I don't fucking die in the meantime. I'm glad I thought of that. I'm glad I thought of the, uh... Landing gear is still damaged. I really don't want, like, my ship's damage to be what's ups what upsets the fishies. seem fishy. into the thing. Doing, doing good. Thank you, Allie. We're getting there. Making one step at a time. <laughs> is that I do have to adjust once I get there and like oh please don't oh come on ah like as much as I don't want to alert it like I also can't just run into it listen listen Mark I don't need your sass here right now. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> All right. I'm so determined to get through this part of the game. I'm going to give it one more try, and then I'm going to take a break and go somewhere else, and then we can come back. Um, I don't want to burn myself out on this one area. And I can always come back. <laughs> it's a good point, Allie. Where's Lou? I should make Lou a mod for puns.
<laughs> pun mod, pun mod. <laughs> I'm doing it. Hold on, I'm doing it. Okay, pause. I have to, I have to tab out of the game for this. I'm doing it. Yeah. Enjoy your sword. <laughs> it was a good pun. Do not do not get me wrong, Mark. I fully acknowledge the pun. It was also a sassy as fuck pun. <laughs> You're filled with power. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I angle better this time. <laughs> yeah, I got this. First try. You're right. This is the first time we've ever been to this planet. I don't know what we're gonna find here, but um, I'm optimistic that whatever is here, we're gonna get on the first try. Ha! As long as I don't crash into the thing. Whoa! Hi! That's cool. We went there once. Went to that little meteor thing. Headlights are off. Remembered this time. Part of me is like, what happens if I just like go in full speed and just don't adjust and... Ugh, okay. Red light. This part always trips me up, shit. When you, like, go in a little bit and then you see the tunnel. Yeah, that trips me up. Give it a little bit of juice. And now... We wait. So how's it going? How's everybody doing? Uh, I don't want to go into this thing. I want to know whose idea this part of the game was. Like, I want to find the game dev and just be like, first of all, you're a genius, but second of all, fuck you. <laughs> I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Kelsey Beecham. <laughs> no, fuck you, respectfully. Exactly. Um, is that another pun, Mark, or is that, is that actually the person? Also, let me know if my mic is too loud. It, it looks a little loud on my end, but compared to the game, maybe it's fine. That's actually the person. Okay. We chillin', we chillin'. She said when she played Subnautica, she felt like the world had its vengeance. Oh my god. Subnautica was, like, pretty spooky. I, what I liked about Subnautica in terms of its fear um, was that it was the game, I felt, was only as scary as you let it be mentally, right? So, like, if you are more spooked of oceans and dark water stuff and being, like, you know, deep, right? Um you're much more likely to have a very scary time. But I didn't find the game that scary. Like, there were certain parts of it that I did, sure. But overall, I wasn't scared by navigating. Um, 
I guess it's the same with this game. Like, this part of the game is scary, but the rest of the game I don't find very spooky. So I'm a little chilly. I might grab a sweater. I'm actually quite chilly. Next time I die, I'll get a sweater. That is not optimistic thinking. I need to be better. When I defeat this area, <laughs> I will get a sweater. <laughs> Where's my optimism? <sighs> 22 minutes or less, guaranteed. You're right. Making good progress, this is good. Oh yeah, look at that, we're like almost really well lined up. I'm not gonna adjust until we're closer though. <laughs> Maybe if I stop hearing the, the fish. Just keep going. Keep going. You know what? At this rate, I could pull Harvey towards me and not disturb him. If I just move him just as slowly as we're getting to the core of the plant. I'm, I'm definitely going to disturb him. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to wake you up. Are we even? <laughs> it's so slow. I wish that we had a speedometer when we're inside because it's hard to tell if we're getting closer or if it's just getting bigger. <laughs> Harvey naps on a soft surface. Does he leave a Harvey dent? <laughs> Cronarch, that is the right response. That is that is correct. Um. <laughs> I appreciate it though. That that is a funny one. I do appreciate that fun. I'll share that one with KY. I'm sure he'll get a laugh. It's starting to sound like it's further away. I'm still like too afraid to adjust, which kind of sucks because we're going to have to go to this other one, this other corner. <sighs> go a little bit further and then adjust. It's getting quieter. It's definitely getting quieter. <laughs> These fish need to go to angler management. Yeah. I don't know how you guys can come up with puns so well on the fly. Like, I think I've said before, I have like a, a, a folder of like saved puns in my brain that I can like pull from when the opportunity is right, and they're usually like ocean and fish puns or bear puns specifically bear puns or especially bear puns i very much enjoy bear puns i i don't i don't i don't have a good answer for that ally
Marcus is full of dad jokes. We're making fish puns, not fly puns. What about flying fish puns? Alright, I think I think I'm okay. I'm like I, I'm torn between being like completely overly cautious. But then I go too fast and shit hits the fan. So I know that there's gonna be a fish like right away, right? Just don't move. Just don't move, just go straight in. Just don't move. Here we go, guys. Oh, don't hit it. We're going right underneath. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> I'm gripping my controller like like it's gonna save my life. <laughs> I am so afraid. I'm not touching anything, I'm not doing shit. Just chatting anglerfish game. I can't believe that. I also can't believe that it worked. <laughs> I was just like too afraid to do literally anything. Oh, what? That's new? That's new. What is that? Man, I still remember that time where I was going down one of the, the white tunnels. And I just kept diving in and going into another white tunnel over and over and over again. And I assumed that it was going to be something like that when we got here. The music changed. That's cool. This only took like, like three hours of experimenting between this stream and the last stream, but, but we're here. And it was kind of an epic journey on this last one, just going like right underneath its little antenna, dude. So now what? Hey, yeah, you're right, Ali. First try, first try. Um, do I touch it? What is this? Grapes. Can I touch these? Gotta say, I'm more confused than before. What are these? You know what these are? My proximity to them is terrifying. Oh boy. I kind of want to, like, get a fish to, like, come at me. But I also want to make sure I get everything that I need while I'm here.
This is a bad idea. bump into it. Nothing. Alright. Well, so, arguably the center of non Euclidean space that is dark gravel. one or two yeah it's my thing like can I take one I'm so brave because you would never so like I don't know if it's that I'm brave or it's that I don't want my time here to feel wasted right cuz like I came all the way here so like why am I here what's my what's the point And I'm sure I'll find out as I, like... Ugh, it's fine. I'm also surprised that this just didn't just take me back out. I don't really care if I die now. I'm gonna just gun it. See where we go. Yeah, so this is what happened the first time or the second time I came here, I just started like tunneling into the center here and just kind of like expected stuff to happen and then it didn't. Ah! Why does that still spook me? That's fine. Now we're gonna go back out. Because this should just take me out of the planet. Right? Yeah. Interesting. So we got to the core, and there was a gooey molten center, sort of. There must be some writing on one of these other planets that's gonna tell me more about what that was. Gotta jump off, but have fun. Thank you so much for hanging out, Allie. I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your night. Let's see. Um, now I'm just trying to figure out listening to the signal scope. I hadn't even considered that. Oh, I should have used the signal scope. So there's a person here. Why didn't I think of that? I can't believe I didn't think of that. I feel so silly. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that I miss just that I should be thinking about and I'm just not. I don't know. Now, will the signal scope alert these things? That is the other question. Well, now there's no signal. Oh, okay. Alright, alright. <laughs> your, your light nudges are appreciated, Cronark. They are good nudges that aren't spoilery, but give me a good hint on what to do, and I appreciate that. I 
I haven't been using the signal scope like nearly enough. Oh, uh, well, it might be too late. Oh my god, there's so many dots. never find this. Wow. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Is there a guy in here? I can get in there. Could send a scout. Yeah. We'll go back there. That was that was really quick to get to. We'll just go back. I feel like I'm making some progress, so. The track is called End Times. Uh, get a little jolt of panic whenever, uh, no matter what you're doing when this plays. Yeah, it would too. I can see myself listening to the soundtrack of this um, uh, once I've like finished the game. I try to avoid uh, listening to a game's soundtrack while I'm actively playing it, but once I've played it, I love listening to it. Um, like especially during like game nights and stuff, I'll usually put on a game soundtrack. All right, third time's the charm, right? Always get a jolt of calm. Interesting. You dread it if you're not expecting to hear it, but it's a really nice song. Yeah, makes sense. This game, though, oh my God. I also feel a little bit silly that I probably could have just sent the probe to do all of this work for me, <laughs> but headlights off. Okay. Let's at least get close, and then I'll send the scout. Super nice song you love all of Parallel's work. Recently put out a song called Reprise. Um, that's a nice callback to the whole game OST. Nice. Of course the fun in that.
I do like that this thing is on the edge, though. Hey, Pyro. Need to get some food? Sounds good. Let us know what you get. There's so many dots. I dislike the quantity of dots. Oh, that was really close. I don't even know if there are angler fish in here. It's very hard to hit this one. back. Get in. Go in. Oh, shit. That was weird. Trees? And then there's the guy. Duplicate sink. Can I? Oh, okay. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Unbuckle. Okay. Okay. Open hatch. Can I fly in here? Nope, 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 I cannot. I got bit. Can use D pad to look around. Yeah, with the probe, but like, I want to go in. There's just like another thing in there, but I thought I saw like a little campsite. should be learning more here. Like, it's cool that this is here. This is interesting to me. But why? Um, do I want a hint? I 
I kind of do. I kind of do want a hint. Shoot. There's the scout. Leave the scout in there and leave. I saw it just as you said it. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. It's like those little things that sometimes throw me in, like, when I'm not streaming and I'm just playing the game by myself, I don't mind just kind of, like, staring at it for 20 minutes and trying to really think about it, but then when I'm streaming, it just kind of, like, all goes out of my head, and I don't want to, like, I don't know, just be, like, missing something obvious for that long. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get used to that as I get more comfortable streaming, but oh, for now. Can I go in? This is quite an interesting spot to, uh, to set up shop, dude. <laughs> this is- this is unnecessary. Just match the velocity. And I'll just- hopefully my ship stays. I guess it's not like I'll leave. It's more likely that I'll just, uh... Hi! Oh my god, finally! Whoa! Where'd you come from? No one's come in here well ever, actually. That makes you the second Herthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. Say, it's you. Um, you may, uh, you, they made you an astronaut? And you haven't blown yourself up yet? Good for you! Little does he know. Um, Felspar, you're alive! You never were the brightest hatchling, were you? Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm alive. Been camping out here since my ship, uh, you know, crashed violently. You crashed, but you were the greatest pilot in Herthian history. I haven't lived in polite society for a while, so I'm just going to go ahead and assume that wasn't sarcasm. <laughs> my story goes like this. I just finished exploring the core of Giant's Deep, and I wanted to try my hand at Dark Bramble, seeing as no one had ever been there before. Getting uh, around in Dark Bramble was e easy, mind you. Once you've dodged one massive interdimensional vine bristling with thorns, you've dodged them all. But after a while, I run into huge anglerfish. You've seen them? Big, gnarly things. And this, uh, this was the biggest one I've ever seen. I pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off. Nothing too fancy. I'm going full speed when the fish clips me, knocks me into a vine, and... Well, like I said, I crashed. Blammo. On impact, my ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside. And I think, well, that ain't great. Sure enough, I barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy. It's either move fast or die unpleasantly. So I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. I camped out near where I crashed at first. I found this skeleton later. Great find. Would have been stupid not to use it. So I moved my setup over here and planted my emergency tree seeds. Been here ever since. <laughs> no wonder there are so many stories about you back home. <laughs> You're not half bad yourself, making it here in one piece. Anyway, that's how it went down, hatchling. Story's over, but feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a while. Or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. Anything else you wanted? I found something. Lay it on me. I found a gnomai writing saying anglerfish are blind. Aha! So the blasted things do have a weakness. Meaning my fly as fast as I can approach to dealing with them could only have used uh, could have used a bit more thought behind it. Extremely metal to live inside an anglerfish. No kidding. That's a dead one too. Yeah. Awesome. 
Have to head out and grab dinner. But thanks for streaming. Of course. Uh, promise to wield your new sword with honor. <laughs> uh, thanks for thanks for being a mod. Appreciate it. Um, enjoy your dinner. And thanks for stopping in. Let's... I feel like we had more to talk about. Pull up a marshmallow stick. Where should I explore here? That's the spirit. Anywhere is good, but you should know that space is weird here. Intensely. Ever tried throwing your probe into one of those weird seeds? See there, with just, uh, uh, with just the little opening. It's just big enough to launch one through. Your probe tracker will tell you uh, the probe is in two places at once, but I don't think that's wrong exactly, because space doesn't work right in here. That seed looks small, see, but inside it's bigger. Much bigger. Had a lot of time to think about this. And my theory is space in Dark Brambles kind of, kind of expands as you go through each sphere. And that's why it's bigger inside those seeds. Pun is mightier than the sword. You'll never be silenced. <laughs> well, that's my theory. Keep in mind while you're exploring Dark Bramble. Uh, and maybe you won't get lost inside forever. Good luck. Um, well, we got to the core, so we don't... I guess we'll ask anyways. Uh, giant steep core, huh? That's a wild one. But since you're asking, gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet. Alright. Uh, you'll want to go to the tail end of the anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flickering light in the fog. That'll be my old shit start path starts there. Does that just so this is this is an actual question for chat. Does that just go back to those red orbs or does it go somewhere different? Because if it goes somewhere different, we'll go check it out, but if it's the same place then I'm not going to bother. Maybe later if we need to go back there for some reason. Something new, okay? Should I tell ground control to come get you? Well, yeah, sure, whenever you have the time. <laughs> kind of like it out here. Quiet and peaceful-ish. You're a little young to understand, uh, but it's a lot of pressure being the best that ever was. It's been nice to have a break. Was that everything? We saw, we saw the ship, or we know where the ship is. What happened to this anglerfish? Looks like this one got here. Near as I can tell, this anglerfish must have been chewing on the vine and eating the seed, and then the seed grew and grew in this poor anglerfish's stomach until this happened. Have I gotten under the current? I assume you mean on uh, Giant's Deep? I didn't get under it, but I did get to the big tower. But I knew that there was stuff in there. I saw the jellyfish. Okay. Yeah, it does look familiar. Let me in. Alright. So let's go to the tail of this fish. Yeah, we'll go to this flickering light. want to hang out in here. Sounds awful. And then we want to follow this thing. Do we want to go inside it? I think we do. That 
that goes somewhere. That way doesn't. All right. Checking. All right, just checking that that doesn't go somewhere. I don't know if I'm supposed to go on the inside of this thing, but I'm kind of struggling to fit. I think I'm stuck. I think I'm stuck. All right. Outside. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm so stuck. All right. All right. Most metal of the crew. No kidding. That's where we came from. I'm trying to decide which direction we're supposed to go. I guess we'll follow the way that the, uh... Because it branches off in all these directions, like... Fuck. Whoa! Whoa! What the hell? happened there? Yeah, I might have to. No kidding. Oh, well, at least I'm inside now. I'm just gonna fucking go for it. wouldn't be a tunnel here if it wasn't important. Ooh, yeah, yeah, alright. Where the heck am I? I don't know if I want to be outside of this yet. Now this is interesting. Ooh, jellyfish! Play recording. Entry four, trip four, entry... I'm gonna say not one. Crashes three. Whoa, ho, never thought I'd see one of those beasties outside of Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here, too. Glory, this is- this thing tastes ho- this thing tastes terrible. The outside is all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity. Right, I'm gonna go inside of this jellyfish's interior cavity to see what's in there. To see if what's in there tastes any better. Interesting. This thing hurt me. Read. Note to Felspar, do not eat this even if you are dying. It would be too sad if this were the last thing you ate in this life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love, Felspar. Okay. Uh, 
eat it. It's tempting. Anywhere else to go while I'm out, while I'm here? I can't believe all this stuff was in here, in this planet. There's my ship. see anything else to interact with here. Seems like that is the thing to find. I could go back and ask him about it. Learning about the jellyfish is interesting. like leaning in so close just uh to utilize this thing more often. I feel silly for not using it for so long. <laughs> something. Found the frozen jellyfish near your ship. Ha, ah, so the old thing is still there, is it? That's where I first camped out after the crash. You know, it's pretty cozy inside. It does lack the structural integrity. It does lack the structural integrity and indomitable spirit of a camp made in the shelter of the very bones of the species that tried to eat you, I suppose. Still very cozy. Anything else? Anywhere else I should explore here? This is all the same. Alright. Well, I think I need to explore some other planets to get more context for what's happening here. I think that's where we're at. There's probably not a lot of time left. I almost wish I had a timer. I mean, I guess I could just, like, look at a clock to get an idea, but... Ooh, whoopsie daisies. Where even am I? How do... I would like to... I guess I just want to reset at this point. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Turn suit. I'm 
I'm sorry for what's about to happen. I don't want to go to the angler fish. Yeah, I, I assumed that there was only a couple of minutes left, but rather than just kind of wandering. That felt very productive. That felt like a very productive uh, run, though. I'm going to grab a sweater really quick. I'm not even going to pause. Just one moment. That's right, chair stream. It's a shame Harvey's sleeping in his bed. It's a shame it could be it could be a cat stream if he would just come hang out. All right, it's a little better. It gets it's still so cold where I am. It's... Oh wow! Hold up. Yeah, you know, I guess I'll just go get my. Uh... Get my suit so I can fly around. Did that land on the planet? Because it sure looked like it did. Maybe this one, uh, on this run, we'll just explore this planet a bit more. Where'd it go? Got a teleporter. I don't think I've actually been to any of this area. I want to try to look for that probe first to see if it actually did land here. Maybe it just like just barely missed the planet. You saw a video where uh, someone started a run and the probe slammed into their ship. I chased it down once on that, uh, on my last stream. I don't see it. Maybe it, it didn't, didn't land here. All right, well, let's just, uh, let's just park. Uh, harsh landing. It passes through planets. Interesting. Yeah, because we chased it that one time, and I was, like, kind of disappointed that it didn't end up going anywhere. I saw something over here, which is why I'm going back to this main area. This. I'm curious what this is. Oh, I, you know, I do remember this. Yeah, I remember this. Then I guess we'll get a little bit closer to the other area. Much better. Alright, there we go. going on over here. Cave. Cool. Love a good cave. Am 
mining site. To be. I love when the the entrance to the door is on the outside and it works. small skeletons. Ooh, alright, what's this? Still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twins project requires. Isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are quite large. No, the material for, these tow for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use timber hearts ore only for constructing the shell, if eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metal lungry. I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. If they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they've planned accordingly. I thought you had for, uh, forbidden your apprentice from making puns. Callus. How else would he improve? <laughs> He's fired! They only work if I stay in them. Okay, I'll move it over um, in a minute. Uh, my gratitude for the latest shipment, uh, Oner. Ono? Ono? Uh, this ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll look. Uh, we'll check to ensure there are any larger any. There are no longer any physical entrances. Rami and I will be checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks, our final safety check. This is exciting news. I can offer an extra set of eyes for this final check, specifically mine. If my work here is complete, I'll be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better. As the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ashwin project could lead to disaster. walked off the edge. I'm sure that was intentional.
I swear I came in. Seems like. So there was another... Is this just the path to get down? Yeah, I think this just was supposed to take us to here. And then this just takes us up. Okay. I didn't see any other places that I need to check out. So I think I'm good to leave. We'll just fly over again. as hard as landing this time. These seem like convenient little steps to get out of here. Almost. Try letting it. Water take me up. Nope. Hopefully, I can get back to my ship. I need to refuel. I don't know where that portal goes either. Hey Pyro, welcome back. What'd you grab for dinner? where this goes. What's that? Is anything lining up soon? Give it a second. My timing might be off on this, though. Pyro, this is a strange game. Alfredo-style cheesy mac with bacon, chicken, sausage, onions, broccoli, and spices? Oh my god. Sounds amazing. Damn, sun's about to go. Are you using the, uh, the Daya, um... The Daya mac and cheese Alfredo as like your base. Because I've had that a couple times and it's pretty good. Yeah? Nice. I used to get those all the time. And uh I have to I have to be a little bit more careful now because of my stupid diet. But I think this is new to this area.
have to go get more of your stuff. You'll be back, sounds good. What's this? Oh, I need to stop being reckless. No, this is not the right spot. Shit, this is one of those things from Dark Bramble. Does this go to the same? Well, now this makes sense. Man, imagine if I had found this first. Whew. Hey. Uh, hey, Hatchling, thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me, I saw something crash over the horizon and didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures my little scout was sending back, so I thought I'd come over here myself and take a look. Is that a dark bramble seed? You think so? It's nothing I've ever seen on Timber Hearth before, so you're probably onto something there. Whatever it is, put, uh, it put down roots in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hatchling. That's a fact. I think I'll set Marl and Hall loose on it. Uh, best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later. And no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. I'll have to go get a look at it, uh, what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want anybody... Uh, to hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside there. Uh, Tuff can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for anyone to fit inside. And anyways, I'm not going to blindly stick my hands into anything that looks as unpleasant as that seed does. It's a good way to lose an arm or two. Yeah, we learned that. Can't I, like, tell him more because I've been there? Uh, I threw a little scout into the seed. You did, did you? And you're telling me it's bigger on the inside than the outside? Huh. This is going to be a chore to chop up. And no mistake, can we even remove a seed that doesn't have uh, the decency to stay the same size all the way through? Maybe I'd, uh, I'd, be maybe I'd better grab an extra axe or three, just in case. The last seed did a lot of damage. I liked this crater. Uh, we know it's not from Tinder Hearth. Alright. Interesting. I, I wish I had seen this sooner. Got some keto taco pie? Elaborate, please. And we found this seed on Timber Hearth while you were gone. where it's from. Alright. Oops. Alright, so we check that out. Yeah, if I'd found the seed earlier, Dark Bramble would have made a lot more sense. <laughs> Especially because the guy just, like, tells you, like, throw a probe in it. <laughs> See what happens. There is a lot more here than I was expecting, I will say. Oh, 
Oh, the sun. It's gonna pop. Five meters, hell yeah. Oh, it's this thing. Right, it's the if I look at it, it stays, but if I don't look at it, it moves. Uh, ground beef, then a layer of salsa, then cheese, egg, cream mix as a top crust. Bake it for a while. Ooh, that sounds delicious. I still don't know what I'm supposed to do with these things. <laughs> like, <laughs> not a clue. Chert's research notes, property of Chert. I've detected a strange signal coming from somewhere within the grove of this crater. It's very similar to the signal emitted by a quantum moon, so it stands to reason. The two signals are probably related. We don't know much about the quantum moon, seeing as, it's, as no one's ever been able to land on it, but hopefully studying the signal from uh, in the grove will reveal more about it. I'm guessing that by, like, finding this signal somewhere... Is that... Is that it? Well, let's find out. Or is that just something else? That doesn't look like Brittle Hollow. Maybe, maybe it is. But it would, it wouldn't be, it can't be because it would have moved. Where's my ship? It's my goddamn ship. Lots of quantum stuff out there. I believe it. I've certainly got like a minute left. gonna follow whatever this is. This is just dark, or this is just a... The sun is definitely still trying to eat us. It's gonna go any minute. Oh, I was gonna say, it's probably even playing the song now if I had disengaged. Did I just, like, get really lucky? Or was this, like, always, uh, 
surrounding Dark Bramble. Okay, I get it. We can't land on it. I thought it was like it moves around in space. I didn't realize it was like... You literally can't land on it. I assumed we just like wouldn't be able to find it. say that there's somewhere here that's like nice to watch it all happen. There's a way to take some learning. I'm sure it does. Oh, look at that. More jellyfish. this. I'm sure there's a way to get under here. Ugh. And I just, like, can't yet. Oh, no, that's just the island. I thought that was a hole. But I have been up there. so cool. It's always really cool. I wonder what happens if I send a probe onto the quantum planet. Quantum moon. Maybe I should try that next. I should definitely check my ship log because I've logged a lot of stuff. Neat idea. You're making me making me feel smart, even though I'm very slow at this game. <laughs> Come here, quantum moon. I'm gonna put a probe on you, and then I can land because that works for the other stuff. I'm looking at it. Let me at least put my suit on. All right. Is it the question is, is it? I haven't noticed that before. So, I guess... I'm staying a little disoriented. Okay. 
There was that, uh... I can change the frequency. Oh, shit! Don't send me into the sun. I'm alarmed. I'm like worried I'm gonna die. <laughs> uh, I get so disoriented. Oh my god. That's timber heart. So that's the sound we want. Like, not sure if it's just like on the other side or if this is just on Giant Steep because I don't want to go on to Giant Steep. confusing. Is this it? That looks like it. No, 
no, no, don't go into the sun. God damn it. I'm trying to catch up to it now. And Pyro, I, I don't... I assume that it's different sounds. hard to get close to. all static. Does that count? Yeah, I thought that that would work. Maybe it's because it went to static and if I just left it as a picture it would have been fine. like that. I like that there's the reflection of my ship. I'm surprised that worked when it didn't work the, the other time. Yeah, alright. I am, uh... I swear to god if it had disappeared. <laughs> if I had just teleported out. Okay. I like want to make sure I keep this out because I'm like worried that I'll just like not be looking at the planet somehow. What's this? I'm here after watching it wander the skies for so long I am about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole that is just true um, as a child i considered such unknowns sinister now though i understand they bear no ill will the universe is as we are i am ready oh what's this do what did that just take me off the fucking planet? Oh, it sure did. I know where we are. Oh, we are- Oh, that's cool! Alright. Where are we now? Interesting. Alright, this is cool. This is cool. Let's 
This is cool, but like, it's not where I want to be. Whew. So this just kind of like shoots us, or... I think I get it. I'm starting to get it. I'm screwed, but I'm starting to get it. Huh. I thought that was gonna, like, land on it. On the planet. I guess it still might. Alright, so we go to the center, and now- oh, That's such a mind fuck. So now we're back in the- The- the thing circling, uh, whatever, the- I forget what it's called. The, like, shuttle thing that launches stuff. Or maybe not. No, we're just in the- Brittle- Brittle Hollow launcher. Okay, the gravity cannon, thank you. Yeah, we're in the gravity cannon on Brit Brittle Hollow. If I move this up to the center, it shoots us out. If I go to the side, though, what's... I don't know what happens if I go this way. It doesn't seem like it works. Maybe that's how they got to, uh... Oh, yeah, because I thought that we were in that thing at first. I thought we were in that. But no. What? No. Don't lead me astray. That's not where I wanted to go. I don't know if I can actually get back to my ship from here, but... Right now I'm just going further away from it. We just oh I'm just landing on a planet uh, gravity sucked me in uh, I think we're gonna have a bad time in this run I don't even know if I can get to land <laughs> a little bit stuck. I can't use my jets. My ship is definitely lost to us. I'm not even sure if there's a way that I can just like die <laughs> to reset. to like go here if I can. If I can. Fuck. Fuck. to be able to explore something. 
Or find a cliff that we can fling ourselves from. Pretty sure we did all of these, but I'll pick it up anyways, just in case. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely read these. Just wanna, I just want to- I want to go back to the quantum moon! I just want to go check that shit out. Oh, that was weird. I thought that I was floating, and then I wasn't. Hmm. I do wish that there was a bit of an easier way to reset the game if you lose your ship. I haven't run into that that often, but it definitely feels like it comes up. Oh yeah, and I remember this, I like took it over to that other one. There is, but takes a little work. Unless you mean like, aside from uh, just like depleting your oxygen or um, doing enough damage to yourself that you die. Huh. The room that once was. Did I read this? 19 minutes, 43 seconds ago, Long Ridge Probe successfully launched from the Orbital Probe Cannon. That's awfully sus. Awfully sus. And I know we read this one, so let's pick it up again. This is the probe cannon, isn't it? Oh, good point. Yeah, because I've got new information for him. If I can get back. So the problem is, it's like, can I even get back to his, like, island? Although I think that was his island. Oh, uh, no. Oh, uh, well. There we go. <laughs> we should talk to him again. Gabro. Yeah, I knew who you meant. Um, I can't keep their names straight. 
Yeah, that works. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'll go back there and I'll talk to him. And I think that'll be my last run for tonight. I do want to play more of this over the next week. Um, because I'm, I'm eager to see it through. Um, and I, I don't want to like keep doing one stream a week. I kind of want to do a couple and answer some of these burning questions I have about this world. But I will for sure post in Discord um, a little bit in advance. I'm going to try to get an actual schedule together soon because I think I need that. Um, oh shit, do we go to the quantum moon first though? a little bit hard to find this thing. I'm sure that I'll... Tricky little moon. Don't you go behind the planet. It's really small. spot. So, we went in there. Ooh, tree. 
this. I don't remember seeing the tree before. I don't remember seeing the storm before. Didn't notice that. Keep looking at it. I don't think it was there to notice. Who's this friendly fella? So, I assume this determines where the... Oh, oh, cool, cool, okay. You recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of the sixth location. Recall, recall the rule of quantum entanglement. One of your favorite things is seeing people experience this place for the first time. Yeah, I... So... wondering if this would like move if I look away let's see the gears turning Like, I remember this tower, and I remember the, the rules that we learned there. This, I'm not sure what this is. I think this is in uh, the Twins, and maybe I haven't explored that area yet. Uh, and then this is Brittle Hollow, I'm pretty sure. But there's nothing that's moving. That's what... I'm trying to figure out is that there's nothing that's moving around. Still observing it. Yeah, well, that's kind of what I thought where, like, if I looked away and then looked back, I thought that this would move. Am I no longer on the quantum moon? Because I know if I look away from this, it's going to be gone. Yeah. Definitely. But it didn't move while I was in it, which was surprising to me. I thought that it was going to teleport to, like, another planet. I can't believe I came back down. <laughs> Where 
Where's my ship? This would be so much easier with a ship. My ship's probably long gone. I don't even see the signal for my ship at the South Pole. Because I remember my ship being kind of near that other uh, rocket thingy. Back down, back down, back down. Because I, I want to land on top of that thing, but I thought that that would be easier in my ship, but maybe I'm wrong. Now I have to find the thing. It was so easy to find the first time. There it is. All right, well. I am still not convinced that my, yeah, the ship's quantum now. All right, so I can't go up because of the, uh, Hold up. There's more than one. Or this just moved? My probe moved, maybe? understand some of this I like I feel like I have some of the puzzle pieces right like I have puzzle pieces and I just haven't put it together yet so right now the quantum moon is at giant steep curious what that is I can't move this this is giving me the clue that I need to put pieces together can't go up. So this changes location. Regardless of where my probe is, which is interesting. Or maybe it was just because I didn't have the photo up. that theory is right, I can like look out and it'll I'll be in a different place. Oh hey, that's what I look like. Hey, there I am. I'm just not sure what I'm supposed to do with this information yet. Um, what did I do when I entered the tower the first time? I turned on that light. Yeah, I did turn on the light. Ugh.
Okay. Oh, what? I'm like paranoid that this is gonna change now. turn the light off again because I don't want it to move. What if I do that? This is where I want to be. Fuck. Back a giant steed. Ember hollow. Or brittle hollow. Back here. How do I get this to go away? This should be as simple as looking at it versus not looking at it, I would think. Gotta learn the rule of the sixth location. Okay. Well, at least I know how to get here, and it's not too hard. I do like that we can just kind of like cycle where we go, which is kind of interesting. Take me somewhere else. Yeah, sure. I don't think I'll be able to get off this planet anyways. If I do, it's just gonna teleport me. Oh, this is different. This is like when I landed the first time. Oh, not that high, not that high. Whew. Oh, hi. Hey, building. Fuel depleted. Sucks. Oh yeah, we're just using oxygen as propellant now. <laughs> Well, it looks like we got plenty of oxygen. Hey, ship! For a second I thought this was a different one. Is that like just a mini black hole?
Each planet causes the quantum moon to be in a different state. Yeah. I'm still curious what that side one does. And away we go. Oh, I'm not exactly where I thought I was. to watch the end. Was my ship back? I didn't, oh yeah! It's really far away, but it exists. come back here and actually look around some more. Ugh, there goes all my oxygen. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Never gets old. Very cool. Every time. 60 seconds remaining. Whatever will we do? I think this is a good place to call it for tonight. Thank you everybody for tuning in, and thank you for all the help along the way. I very, very much appreciate it. Helps move things along a little bit. Let's see. Saw a lot this time around. Yeah, no kidding. I, at first I was like a little bit worried that we were going to spend like all of our time <laughs> on Dark Bramble. Um, but no, we, we saw... Actually, you know what? Before we go, before we go, let's go to our ship and open up the, the ship's log. Because I meant to do that earlier and then kind of forgot. Because um, I want to see how much stuff we added. Because we added a lot of shit. So let's take a quick look. Sixth location. Many Nomai went on pilgrimage during which the quantum moon carried them to its sixth location, sixth and most secret location to explore the sixth location. The shrine on the quantum moon must be on the on the moon's north pole. Okay. All right. Interesting. Okay, so we're gonna have to like put a scout on the shuttle, which is always on the south pole, or wherever we land. Wherever we land is always the south pole. And then we'll just have to like go around to the other side and then try to get the shrine to appear. That'd be cool. Um, I bet that's what we have to do, something like that. Quantum Moon Locator? Interesting. Yeah. 
Very cool. And then the other stuff that we found... We got the, uh... Camp. Frozen jellies. Seed. Cool. Alright, well this le leaves us with a lot to... More to see in the bramble, too. Uh, of course there is. Always more to see. Always more to check out. Alright. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you for the help. Thank you for uh, Kim for the raid. Um, and thank you uh, book club. Thank you Mark for the prime sub. And Lou for the three months in advance. That's super sweet and I really really appreciate it. If y'all are still here. That's awesome. Um, and uh, thank you Cronarch for your help. And Pyro for hanging out. Alright let me pull up Twitch on my phone. See who's online. Let's see. Kai Bear is playing some Risk of Rain 2. Let's do that. Let's go raid Kai Bear. Acro, thank you for hanging out. I'm glad that you had a good time. Okay, so let me switch off this. Let me switch over there. Kyber is super cool. I've been really enjoying watching his stream. At some point, we're going to play Risk of Rain 2 together. Um, hopefully sooner than later, because I really enjoy that game, and I don't get to play it enough. Alright. Have a good night, everyone. See you later.